While working on the movie Seven Years in Tibet, being filmed in British Columbia, a little known but impressive watershed came into our radar. After months of preparation, Rome attempted the first ever descent of the Klina Klini River. Our expedition utilized float planes, a helicopter, and a host of professional river runners. Wrestling its way from the Chilcotin interior to the Pacific coast, the Klina Klini harbors some of the most dramatic scenery we had ever seen. Now, the state-of-the-art expedition allows participants to travel where it was once thought unimaginable. And whatever comes our way Yeah, darling, go and make it happen Take the world in a loving embrace You fire all of your guns at once And explode in the space If you want to go where only a handful of people have ever rafted, this is the trip for you. The Kleena Kleene offers the adventurous traveler a bounty of images and experiences. No previous experience is required, yet there are exciting stretches of rapids, ranging from class 3 to class 5. Both of the class 5 drops are optional. I realize that it is hard for people to comprehend that there are vast tracts of wilderness and unnavigated waterways less than 200 miles north of Vancouver, British Columbia. However, once you fly over this region, you will soon see how this can be true. The coast mountains have proven over the test of time to be a formidable opponent to development, let alone explorers. Stretching up as far as the Yukon, these mountains are the birthplace of many raging rivers flowing out to the Pacific. The Klina Klini is the prized jewel. Halfway through the trip, a helicopter arrives and whisks us to untouched alpine meadows and diamond blue glaciers. Views of the enormous Klina Klini glacier make for an unforgettable day of hiking and exploring. Soon after, your magic carpet will drop you at the foot of the glacier where icebergs carve into our secluded lake. Here, you'll discover immense ice caves, wide plateaus of wildflowers, and waterfalls. It is a unique experience to raft through the dramatic coastal mountains, past glaciers and the highest peak in British Columbia. When we finally emerge at the Pacific coast, it is into Knight Inlet, a 60 mile long fjord that meets the sea at the north end of Vancouver Island. This area defines the notion of pristine wilderness, nature's purest form. It seems impossible to imagine that Vancouver and the rush of civilization are just an hour's flight away. Get out on the high. In typical Rome fashion, we'll spend our nights in comfort, relaxing in our intertidal chalets in the heart of the marine park. Complete with waterside hot tub, our lodge works as the perfect outpost for exploring this region. On select departures, or as a standalone trip on its own, we'll spend a few days paddling the tidal-fringed environment of Johnstone Strait, the world's best place for viewing orcas in the wild. Located at the northern tip of Vancouver Island, the strait consists of a large archipelago of islands set to the backdrop of the snow-capped peaks of the mainland coastal range. Its elaborate framework of coves, inlets and channels provide for intimate and inspiring kayaking. <laughs>